Yeah, when I, st when I left Niagara University, I went to uh, work for Touche Ross in Buffalo for about a year and a half, and I took a job with a client after that uh, in Niagara Falls. I worked about 10 years with the client, and then I went uh, in to work for a hedge fund for about 10 years. And uh, when I finished up my work at the hedge fund, Niagara, I was teaching part-time and staying in touch with the school, which I think is one of, one of the wonderful things about Niagara is that it stays with, stays with you. We talk about um, um, financial statements a lot in my intermediate accounting class. And what I do is I, I tell the students, you know, you're going to need to you're going to need to be an investor someday as well. So this is something that, this is a skill that you can, you, you know, why should you learn this? Uh, first, you're going to get through my class. Second, you're going to be prepared for a certification, which is going to change your life. The most rewarding part is when you have a student that may have gone either way, and you're able to help them get across the line by, by in, engaging them better, you know, with the material, with the way that you present it, uh, by giving them some sor sort of relevance to the material, and you know, by, by being, a, being more than a guide. I had an, um, a, a woman who was coming back to school, um, and always when somebody is away from school and coming back, or it's tough to be in, around the young people and the whole environment and all that. So it was an emotional experience for her to start with. And on the last uh, exam of the second uh, intermediate class, she scored in, the, in and around the top score. And when I gave her her paper back, um, she started crying, you know, in the middle of the class. You know, and I, so I started crying, you know, and I said, stop, you know, I'm pointing at her. I'm like, stop, don't cry anymore, because if you cry, I'm going to cry. i got to teach a class up here. If Niagara had taken my paycheck away, I still would have come back the next day after that. This profession is um, very dynamic right now. With the uh, international standards and uh, U.S. standards merging, the textbook is changing every couple of years, and so it forces me over, to, over the summer to maintain my, my content. There's a lot of schools that are research-based where they're not going to um, reward you or encourage you to have your successes in the classroom. At Niagara, the, 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 this, is, this system is designed um, at least equally to reward success in the classroom. You know, we have a liberal arts component and a significant liberal, liberal arts component. And as a former student and a now a faculty member, um, I, I think I have a greater appreciation for that than I did when I was a student. It uh, teaches you to be um, um, more I think a better communicator, more confident, uh, more um, a, a significant member of the community. When I travel someplace, I like to be doing things. Uh, but uh, I, th I think more the outdoor stuff. I think I, as I've gotten older, I've begun to appreciate nature more. And, you know, just walking around amongst the trees and animals has been really cool. Niagara University changed my life. I came here and I had no idea what I was going to do and picked a direction and got full support from the people here. And um, I, my life went exactly the way I wanted to. And, and I get into a classroom every year and I hope that I find one or two students like me that I can make a difference for. Them.